Alright. I gotta hurry up and make my ramen. Or eat my ramen. Because it's already made. It's gonna get cold. Because it's already fucking cold in my room. Warning. Read before playing. Alright, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm probably just gonna uh, skip my intro because this is showing what part of my intro is. Anyways. So, hello. And, um. I wanted to make a video. heard this, you guys probably already played this game, like, there's a few things I wanted to talk about, um, not necessarily, you know, be 10 things a beginner should know before playing The Division, blah bitty blah, 10 things you probably didn't know about playing Division, no, there's gonna be a fuck ton of those videos on YouTube, I, and there's gonna be a fuck ton of my type of video, I just wanna talk about it, it's an amazing game, while there are a lot of glitches and things like that, I wanna talk about some of the upper things, um, you know, like almost all fucking released server-based games lately. Uh, look at fucking GTA wasn't even up for literally months. A whole bunch of other games had fucking problems. Destiny had problems for like a month, maybe two months. I can't even remember that was so fucking long ago. Um, like all these games that are coming out that are server-based are having huge fucking problems. Ark still has problems. This game, while still having a little bit of lag, it, they've done surprisingly well for themselves. I think the first 24 hours was the worst of it. I don't think it's ever going to get bad or anything like that. I think they're just going to keep doing better. At least that's what it feels like, and I'm happy that they can make the consumer myself feel secure in this game. Greetings indicate this area is safe. Um, one thing I can say is that they use the same color based scheme that they call their shit different because they want to be unique as every other fucking RPG. Everyone says, oh no, they're exotics, no bitch. Destiny came after fucking every other game that didn't. Like fucking Kingdoms of Ammo or which came after World of Warcraft, which came after Warcraft, which came after Diablo. Fucking stop. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Alright? But fucking Destiny did do this shit first, no. but I'll pr you'll probably still hear me because I'm used from. to it, and a lot of people aren't saying it, but I'm easily heard and understood, I'll still be like, yeah, it's an exotic, yeah, it's a purple, it's a legendary, and, and maybe got up by it's, accident, or maybe they let it it's, out it's on actually, purpose. what's funny is most but yellows way, in the, the, the days are probably what would be called legendaries, but no, I, I think that's one of the most amazing things, is, you know, while being unique in itself, they are following a system that other people can can enjoy and understand compared to the games that this game is compared to. A lot of people say this game is a lot like Destiny with the grind, and I won't even lie, it is a lot like Destiny with its grind. But at the same time, it has its own unique style of money. It has its own unique style of um, the leveling system. In Destiny, they tried to do their own unique thing, which I thought was actually cool at first, and sometimes it got a little annoying. If you were to go on World of Warcraft, all right, first let's talk about like games like that. If you were to go on World of Warcraft, level one, you fight a level one, it's difficult. Level one, you fight level five, it's almost impossible. Level uh, fucking five, you, level, you fight level one, it's it's easier. Uh, level five, you level, uh, fight a level 10, it's almost impossible. Level 80, you fight a level one, you literally can fucking dick slap them across the thigh and they will disintegrate. When Destiny came out, they had their own set level system where they would always do the same amount of damage to you, no matter your level. But, higher level enemies would still shit on lower level players. So I thought that was kind of unfair, because what they were trying to do is they were trying to make it to where higher level people could not help lower level people with their gameplay. While it was still possible, if the higher level people weren't careful, they'd still get their ass handed to them by level 4, if they were level 40. Now, it's kind of cool at the same time as on this game, they go by almost the same credit. Level 1s never stop doing the same damage to higher level enemies. But at the same time, they also don't make it like that. While Chelsea is, you know, set level, I think, 2 and 3, the enemies themselves will slowly level up with the character. And at a certain point, it'll start being, they'll go up one level every two levels, one level every five levels. So if I were to go to Chelsea right now, I think they'd be like level 12. When I was a level 2, they were level 2. 
And so at the same time, you know, that allows players to explore freely and to go a little bit beyond where they want to go because the enemies will stay um, scaling to them. But at the same time, you know, they can't go up a level 5, can't go up to a level 30 area. So it's cool. Which I actually think there's only one level 30 area, so that's kind of a stupid analogy. Um, but at the same time, you know, I think it's cool that people can join. But and they can help if they're near your level, I think that they need to level that system out a little bit more. Um, God, what was it? There was a game that fucking did it where a, um, a lower level would be fighting a lower level. I really can't remember it. I don't, I don't know if it's Borderlands or something. If a lower level and a higher level were playing together, the enemy that they were fighting would be different levels to them on their perspective sides. So a lower level would be doing technically more damage to a person than the higher level because the higher level would be fighting a higher level on their own side even though it was the same exact enemy. So I don't know how to explain that. Um, I can't really remember what game it is so I can't give you an example and it kind of sucks. Uh, but um, so like if a level 1 was fighting a level 1 and a level 30 was in their game on Division, that level 1 would be like a level 13 but to the level 1 it would still be a level 1 so the level 1 would be doing uh, percentage amounts to the health while the level 30 would still be doing less damage technically because they'd be fighting an enemy with more health and so it, it lets them fight together but not making it insanely easy in this game they make it insanely hard for lower levels and for friends who started playing the game before them so if, if one of my friends were to get in the game right now and I were to join his game as a level I think it's like level 3 or 4 that you come into Manhattan it would be insanely difficult for him to stay with me because the enemies would be multiple levels ahead of him. And it sucks because unless you're a level 25, 24, 23, playing with a level 30, and he below that, it's almost impossible because the enemies are multiple levels ahead of you and it's, it's too difficult. There's one thing I think that kind of sucks because this game is so on hype now that almost everyone's getting it. So for the people that have had it for a long time, you have a it's of a gonna be really difficult for the people National that have friends that have had it, they want to show them how to play, and no? those friends can't you because they already know they're gonna get fucked. And power no, leveling is possible in this game? Oh my god, is it possible? Because the enemies will still scale down to the host, so if, you, if you're a level 30 joining a level whatever, and they're in a low level area, they're gonna be half your fucking level as a 30, they're gonna be like level 13, level 14, level 15, and you can shit on them. Again, if you're not careful, you can shit on yourself. Um, which is a cool thing, because you have to be on your toes in this game. Um, and I think that they've also, I have a lot of friends who live in New York and live up in this area of the real world, and they actually told me they've done an amazing job of scaling some of the buildings. There are people that I've seen online that have actually seen buildings in the division, and they've taken pictures of them, and they are almost exact duplicates of the real life version in the game. I think that is fucking amazing that they have taken them. Well, sometimes that might be really scary to some people, uh, because, you know, hey, um, that's my fucking house. Like, some were playing, they lived in this area. Like, um, hello, that is my fucking house, like, exactly, that's kind of creepy. Then obviously, you know, that's kind of weird, but for people like me, who have never fucking left California, except for a couple trips, like, I've never been to New York, I've never been in fucking Hell's Kitchen, I have never been in whatever the Stavaz Vaunt, or whatever the hell that, like, south, uh, east area is. I don't know those places, but it's kind of cool that people are saying, yeah, man, that's exactly what it looks like. I'm like, awesome, cool, I know what it looks like. I think I've been to New York. No, not really, but it's kind of cool. And, uh, oh my god, I'm talking for a I, 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 seriously, I can't remember what I'm talking about. So this game, we've got, we've got it. It's different. He has like a legit yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
this video, do leave a like. If you dislike this video, please leave a dislike. I want you to get Zod's opinion. Tell me down in the comments down below why you disliked, liked, or did not dis or dislike or like this video. Because, again, I want you to get Zod's opinion. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this and on other games that are played in the future, near future, and distant future. I'll see you guys later. Come here to the Morning. You are now leaving the safe area.